Number 15. Assuming that no equilibria other than dissolution are involved, calculate the concentration of all solute species in each of the following solutions of salts in contact with the solution containing a common ion, and then show that changes in the initial concentration of the common ions can be neglected. Okay, so first things first is we have silver chloride, right, AgCl solid, and this is in 0.025 molarity of sodium chloride, NaCl. Now, in order to find out the concentration of the solute species, right, we have to first find out what is being dissolved. Well, the solid is always going to be the one that's dissolved, and the solid is always the one that has the KSP, for, the KSP equation. So there's uh, no way to do this problem without finding the KSP value. So I went in the back of the textbook to find out what the KSP is of AgCl. It's 1.6 times 10 to the negative 10th. But because of that, we just need to now write a balanced equation. With every KSP comes a balanced equation. And I'm only going to write the balanced equation for now of AgCl. So I have AgCl, that's a solid, and this comes to equilibrium because we're dealing with K values of the two ions. Well, the split has to be between the silver and the chloride, right? So I have Ag and I have Cl. We just have to write those charges, right? But Ag is always a plus one. That's the transition metal that just has one charge. And chlorine, being a halogen, is a minus one charge. And since they have charges, they're both aqueous. Just make sure that this is balanced, but the equation is one Ag for every one Ag, 1 Cl for every 1 Cl. So I'm just going to take this and put this equation over here for now. Okay. Next thing is let's write the general formula for the KSP because now we have the balanced equation. Remember, the general formula for the KSP is this right here. It's just the KSP equals the concentration of the products raised to their coefficients. No reactants because no solids are allowed in any K value. So we have KSP equals to the concentration of the two products. We have the Ag plus 1 times the Cl minus. And just make sure that we're raising them to the coefficients. But in this case, I have no coefficients in front. Remember, that just means that I have one of them. So I can raise both of these to the first power or I can leave them alone. That's fine. But now, let's plug in some numbers. Well, we know that the KSP value is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 10th. But now, what is the concentration of the Ag plus and the Cl minus at equilibrium? Well, they didn't give us a number, so I'm going to have to go over here. But the thing is, is now comes the common ion effect. If we have concentrations for a aqueous solution, keep in mind that NaCl is aqueous. It is aqueous because, remember, all group 1 ions, I don't care what it's bound with, remember, all group 1 ions are always going to be aqueous. It's always going to break down. So I'm just going to write that balanced equation over here. I have NaCl. That's aqueous. This breaks down into its two ions between Na and Cl, right? So Na plus 1, that's aqueous and Cl minus. That's aqueous. Now, if you're starting off with something aqueous, which we are, 0.025 molarity, you are able to use your mole ratios to find out how much Na plus and how much Cl minus you have in solution by just looking at the coefficients. This is balanced, and all of the coefficients are the same number. It's a 1 to 1 to 1. So, if this is the starting amount and they're all the same value, 1 to 1 to 1, that means that the Na plus would be 0.025 molarity and the Cl minus would be 0.025 molarity. Out of these two ions, which one is common in my KSP? It's the Cl minus. Whenever you have a common ion, do you see that, right? Cl minus, Cl minus. Common just means the same. So you just pick the one that has the same ion in both equations. So if that's the case, the starting amount that you have for that ion goes 
to this amount. So now I have 0.025 molarity, right? And maybe we could say M, but we'll leave it as that for now. Because now we have to add in a variable, right? So keep in mind that this would be X, right? I don't know what this is. It has to be X. And for whatever you have here, you have to add it to the CL minus. Technically, you added a little bit from the dissociation of the AGCL. So this would just be X because it would technically be 1X because of the coefficient, but 1X, X, tomato, tomato. And then from over here, I would say plus X as well. And this is plus 1X because of the 1 coefficient. Now this is where it's saying show that the changes in the initial concentration can be neglected. Because if we did the ice table, and maybe the next one I'll show you it in terms of the ice table, this is your initial concentration, and then this plus x is the change. But since they're saying that, you know, we can neglect the change, it's just going to make the math way too hard. So I'm just going to get rid of that and see if we're good. So the AG would be just X, and the CL minus is going to be the 0 0.025. Now, let's do some math. 1.6 times 10 to the negative 10th equals X times 0 0.025. So X times 0 0.025 is just 0 0.025X. Let's get x by itself. We're going to divide by that number. So the math is pretty easy. It's just kind of the setup. 0, 2, 5. Get rid of this number. And now we have x equals, let's see, 1.6 1 1 times 10 to the negative 10th divided by 0 0.025. So I have 6.4 times 10 to the negative 9th, and that's molarity. So that's the concentration of the solutes for every X value. Keep in mind that when we go back and plug in our values, the X that we kind of got rid of comes back. Now, before we do that, we just have to make sure that this neglection is okay. Remember, we do the 5% rule. So 5% rule is when you take your X that you found and divide it by the initial amount, which was the 0 0.025. If our number is five or less, we're good. If it's more than five, we have to go back and say, okay, I can't get rid of that plus X in my math. So 6.4 times 10 to the negative ninth divided by zero point, oh boy, 0 0.025. We have to times it by a hundred because it's a percent. This definitely is gonna pass, but just to show you guys. Yeah, I get 2.56 times 10 to the negative fifth percent, way lower than 5%. So as far as the checking, we're good. This checks out, and the 5% rule is all good to go. So in terms of the answer, if I actually brought this down a little bit, basically, we have AG plus and CL minus. AG was just X, so that has to be the 6.4 times 10 to the negative ninth molarity. That's the concentration of the AG+. Plus. And then with the CL-, minus, we do have to go back and say 0 0.025 plus X. So let's just see if it's going to change the number. I mean, I would probably suggest no, because it's such a small, small, small number. But let's just see. Yeah, no. So we would just say 0 0.025 molarity. And those are your two answers. That's it. Okie dokie. Let's just color this in. It's color time. Stop. Color time. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I hope you guys are having a great day. All right, take care and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.